In this lesson, we are going to make alterations in different versions of scales and record them on our instruments. So to begin, we're going to go into the NoteFlight Learn library, and we are going to sort by scale exercise, and we're going to see lots of variations. Now your teacher may have a specific assignment for you, but I'll go over a few options here. There are chordal scales, which essentially are sort of arpeggiated. I'll open and show you what these look like. But for this lesson, I think we should start in, in seconds and thirds and see what that looks like. So the chordal scales are sort of arpeggiated like this. And you can find all sorts of variations in here, and there's lots of ones in here. They are in a few different keys, but of course you can transpose them. So in this case, let's start in thirds. And I'm going to go for E flat major. So I'm going to open up an E-flat concert scale, and I'm going to see what this looks like in 6-8, and it's in thirds. So I'm going to check out a copy of this, or again, you may already have this as your assignment, and now you have this score in your NoteFlight Learn account. Now, I'm going to ask for three variations here, So, and we're going to do variations on articulation and even dynamics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and hit Shift and select the whole thing. I could all just hit Command-A and select the whole piece. Now I'm going to use the R key to repeat the entire segment and basically duplicate it. Now I can go in the measure previous, hit enter, and that forces the scale to repeat. So I just repeated this whole scale again. And now I'm going to do it one more time. So the first part of this lesson is you making your own variation of the scale. Now I'm very persnickety about my music, so I really want everything nice and pretty. So we're going to put final bar lines after each variation. And since there's variations here, what I might do is give myself a second to actually breathe. So I'm going to insert a measure in each of these places. Now the easiest thing to do that, you can use the plus sign here to insert a measure of rest. Now we're going to do the same on this measure, insert a blank measure before. And that just gives us a little chance to rest as we go through and record this. So now we have all of these measures all timed out. So now let's make some articulation decisions. In the articulation palette, you have all sorts of options here and they different have shortcuts. I'm gonna go ahead and select articulation so it opens up the palette at the top and gives me all the options so I can easily click them. Now, the first time, why don't we try a uh, slur the first two. So I'm gonna select the first note and I'm just gonna hit slur. Now the shortcut key for slur is S. So I'm going to select here the first time, but then I'm going to go each one and just hit S and make myself a slur 2 pattern for each scale. Now you can make your own variation and you can even make variations and share it with other of your friends. So let's go ahead and do this. And then we'll go ahead and end right there. Now that's the first variation. Now we're going to take a rest. The second variation, let's try um, Let's try maybe staccato. So we're going to use the staccato one, and let's try um, making the whole thing nice and light. So let me just uh, shift select this whole piece. I'm going to add staccato to everything, except, now I just did it to everything to be quick. Now this last note, I'm going to take it off because we're not going to play staccato on a dotted chord, but you get the point here. So now we have a nice light staccato. And since this uh, is a lighter variation, let's make this more, let's add a, um, a dynamic and let's make this more um, use expression text let's say this is mezzo piano so we're going to MP this first one let's go ahead with expression text and let's say it's going to be um, forte just to get started so now what's the third variation we're going to do we can do um, something actually a little tricky why don't we try something like staccato slur 2 so now as a to do this quickly the, the shortcut for staccato is the semicolon. So what I'm going to do is hit semicolon, arrow, S to slur, arrow, semicolon, arrow over, I'm using the right arrow to get this note, S to slur, over, over, semicolon, S. So when you use your shortcuts in notation, it's a very quick way to make these little variations. So now we're going to do it again. Sometimes it's even a game. So it's click, right, click, right, right, click, right, click, right, right, click, right, click. So you can make a quick variation. So now, three variations of a scale with rest before making us ready to go here. So now we are ready to record. 
So now I'm going to go into record mode and I'm going to check the tempo first. Let's play back. Start from the beginning here. Sure, that's probably good. If you wanted to change the tempo, you can select all and you have the tempo up here so we can always change it down a little bit. Slow it down some. Maybe 108 might be better. So we can save that, see what that looks like. Now the Got it. Okay, now let's go and record. So I'm gonna record this on trumpet. So the first thing I need to do is I need to put this in for my instrument. So it's for piano. So I can go over here, type trumpet in the parts panel on the right, and I can hit OK. Now, very important in the upper left, there's the show in concert pitch. We do not want it in concert pitch, we want it in transpose pitch. So notice, I quickly made this a trumpet part. I'll show you one more time how I did that. I used the parts option, I used the pen to edit the part, searched my instrument, and it put in. Then, I had to make sure that I was not in concert pitch. In the score menu, you am going to turn off concert pitch, and now I'm looking at an E-flat concert scale transposed for my instrument. You can even do this with bass clef. The, the bass clef instruments will go in bass clef and you can actually uh, move the range of the notes if you need to. So now, let's record. I'm gonna go into record mode, take out my trumpet, and let's use the metronome. The best thing to do is use headphones, but I'm not going to for this video so you can hear everything that's going on along with the metronome. So I'm going to turn my volume up real loud so I can hear my metronome. It's going to give me a click off and let's see what happens. And you can see, I have a recording here, you can even see the little waveforms and look at the little bit of staccatos here. And I can always tell you right here that I might have been early on this note just because of the waveforms, which is really cool. Let's take a listen and see what this sounds like. So I want to go back and focus on not rushing these slurred groups here. This staccato was very long, very inconsistent. I want to work on staying with the time in the beginning and focusing on, again, not rushing on the last notes. But now you have a recording that you can work on and you can turn into your teacher or have other people take a listen.